Testing, testing, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, make sure you subscribe and click that little bell to be notified of when we post a brand new video. Today, I want to talk about a game called Forgotten Waters, which is not the image that you see on my left. So, that is actually Sea of Thieves, but I'm a huge, huge pirate fan, and when I saw Forgotten Waters, I was super excited about seeing the game. My wife brought it home, like, hey, I want to play this game, and I'm like, well, I don't know if I want to play that, and then she opened it, and I kind of looking through the box and I saw that the, there was a booklet in there and you open the booklet and you're going on an adventure and before I get ahead of myself maybe we should pull up some images so let's transition over to our full screen pull up board game geek or google one of the two and look up some images all right what is this take number five all right guys so here we are on BGG.com. We're going to look at the Forgotten Waters and read off some stats that I forgot because I'm human. So it is three to seven players. It is two, 120 to 240 minutes of playing time, age 14 and up. And it's weight, complexity rating, not how much it actually weighs in the box, is a 2.26 out of five. So the first thing I want to talk about is the board games box artwork why i said it that way i have no idea but this artwork is very very in, like intriguing i'll pull up my box as well you guys can see right here this blue and gold macaw carrying this lady which is physically impossible they're not that big like come on now but anyways you guys can see the kraken in the center uh, and then we have what I think is Merfolk, but I'm not sure. And then we have this guy with his looking like a mushroom umbrella. And I'm trying to point at this stuff while not being able to see the front of the box because it's pointed the camera to you guys. Uh, a shark, a pirate, <laughs> and we got a, a ship over here. And it's all being consumed into this whirlpool of stuff. So in the game, over the course of the game, which it kind of feels like an adventure, choose your path game. Uh, like an adventure choose your path book uh, but at the same time it feels kind of role play because you do increase stats you do um, choose what you're going to do so like this book this book right here this is the one of the I think the very first page it's page number three see that little three in the corner down here you guys can whoa whoa we zoomed in way too far all right so Forgotten Waters, so there's the Hungry Crew, Charter Course, Fish, Read Cannon, Ready Cannons, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's read the cannons, guys. I can't read, Captain. Uh, talk to Crew, Captain's Quarters, and Sail. So, depending on how many people you have to play with, that will depend on how many of these you actually have to do. Um, I don't remember quite what the ruling was, but if you have like two to three people, you don't have to worry about Hungry Crew. Um, I don't believe you have to worry about sale, but you may have to. So you guys definitely go watch uh, how to play video because that's not what this is. <laughs> this is just talking about pirates, okay? Iron matey. Uh, these standees are not part of the game. Uh, the standees are actually cardboard cutout. These are painted miniatures somebody made. They are actually they didn't make them. They're from Rum and Bones, which is a different pirate game. So they. We use their mini, which I think is really cool. And that's what they use. So the actual standees are cardboard. These are miniatures. But, Plat Hat, you guys should come out with an expansion pack to where we can buy minis for your game. You know everybody's going to want them. So right here is your your log sheet for your character for whatever campaign you're running in. Um, so every time you go to exploration, brawn, hunting, aim, swagger, navigation, you get to increase these attributes depending on what you pick over here in the book so like the book see that little hat logo come over to the character sheet your hat logo bam fill that box in and then every time you hit a star on your character sheet you get to fill in one of these dots up here on your constellation super simple easy let's keep scrolling through here you'll see everybody has a different character sheet and then i didn't really look through the box to confirm but i believe 
I was told that every character sheet is different. So eventually you'll run through all of them and you won't run into any duplicates. If you guys want to fact check me on that, feel free to leave a comment down below and be like, you're wrong. You're wrong, Willis. We can see some a happy family here having a good old time. Uh, looks like they got the little iPad over here. So why do they have an iPad? Well, let's just keep talking about that. So there's the coins. Oh, they have it all nice and organized. You know, little baggies, the containers. Those do not come with the game, guys. Another another modded box. Uh, but on your phone, there's an app for this game, and it is needed. So if you have an iPad, uh, a phone, you might be able to run it on a laptop. I don't know. So if you don't have a smartphone device or a smart device, um, that may be the only drawback, really, is because you ha when you when you go to a certain page, you have to put in the code into your phone, and the phone will tell you what page to go to, to tell you what happens, whether it's good, bad, stuff like that. That may be the only drawback, because I, I do know some people that don't have smartphones. They're still on a flip phone. They're just, they only phone call. They don't need a smartphone. Their life is simple and simplistic. Me, you know, I'm one of those people that worry about followers and all that stuff. So that might be the only drawback to this game. Everything else, fantastic. I absolutely love the app. So if you do have a smartphone, you're in luck. The, we were sitting on the dock, and while we were there, the app was playing, and there was, there was just, it sounded like a crowd in the background, you could hear the ocean, there was merchants at the dock, stuff going on, a lot of ways to immerse you into the game. And it was fun, and I felt like I was doing something all the time. The tracker down there at the bottom where it says first mate, quartermaster people actually have to take those roles and do their job and are responsible for keeping that stuff aligned so it's almost like you have a role on the on the actual ship so uh i haven't seen anybody actually play as like a captain or anything so there's no captain role so everybody will do their own job and you're actually on a on, on a captain's ship i remember now and you're doing you're basically on his ship doing jobs for him and running around and he's the commander so nobody gets to play captain so you have to play crewman. And it's really cool because, like, you know, you have one person that has to keep track of this, one person keeps track of that, and it just feels like you're actually on a ship. You have your title. You have to do your things. And we're, we're going to keep looping and referencing back to the, to the phone. So right there is credit right there. Somebody's got it on their laptop. You can do it on laptop. I think it's a browser source app. So that may be why it's also available on a laptop. So if you have a laptop, a PC smart device, anything, you can pull this app up and it will do everything for you. The blue board here with the pieces on it and the ship, as you navigate, there will be things blocking your way. There will be good things happening, bad things happening. You'll go to different places. Those places that flip over, when you get to those tiles, they'll have a number on them. The number will trigger into the book. The book will tell you what page to go to, so on and so forth. And the app keeps track of everything. So... It will keep track of what tile you flipped over, where you flipped it over at, location, everything. And then when you're when you when you're done playing, you're just like, yeah, let's just let's put it in the box. You can save it on your app. It will save exactly what you had all laid out in the game and, and will remember the board and how to lay everything out. And then on your character sheet, if you want to keep track of your stuff, you need to do that on your character sheet. But it's kind of cool that the app does most of the saving. I don't want to say all and then be wrong and then somebody close their game and be like, oh, you lied. It's just really, really cool how the app is a huge aid. Or the browser source, I should say. This tray right here, this tray is really cool. It, it holds the, the cards, both, both decks for the cards. It holds the coins, uh, all that stuff. And I just noticed on this iPad down here, they have their ship log on the iPad. I did not know that we could do that. Maybe my wife was doing that and I just wasn't paying attention. Uh, but whose picture this is? Uh, awesome. Awesome little dice trays. Those are dope. I like them. And it looks like this is like the very beginning of the game. Because they have one loaded and one unloaded. And they're at the docks. This is that dock I was talking about. Look how beautiful that dock looks. And then you put that with the phone app. No, like, not, I don't, don't say noise. 
the phone app ambiance ambiance however you want to say it tomato tomato just it all ties together it's so good and then the curses that happen yeah they're curses they're bad but they're not like cut your legs off bad um here's another picture of the uh app you see that install for offline use so if you don't have access to internet you want to play it in a remote location like Gen Con, where you can't get Wi-Fi, <laughs> download the offline version. Um, I know, we didn't have Gen Con 2020. I live in Indianapolis. It was a sad, sad time. Uh, but we did have the online. So if you guys did go to the online one, leave down in the comment section below. Got a standee. It looks like somebody kind of Photoshopped it and made it look like he's standing inside the, the pirate ship. That's cool. Another one, or maybe, what am I seeing here? Who, did somebody have, does somebody have a, is this made of Legos? <gasps> is this a Lego pirate ship and somebody put all the standees in it? Oh, that's so cool. You were seeing stuff that's not even in the game. That's kind of neat. And then somebody took a picture with their standee on the page of that. Cool. I've seen some people using miniatures as well. And that's really neat too. Uh, the miniatures they used were from Rum and Bones from Cool Mini or Not. So, plaid hat. We need some minis of these characters so we can buy the expansion. Hey, run it on Kickstarter. <laughs> I, I haven't... Oh, yes, I did. I did go to this place. I have been to this place. So this is like all Scenario 1 stuff that's been posted. So, yeah, I really... Go, guys, I don't really have any more information. I just wanted to come on here, talk about the game, and just... It's different when I do live streams because then people are talking to me. So I'm just talking to myself if you guys... Enjoy the video. We're going to wrap it up right here. You guys, give it a like. Share it with your friends. Tell Plaid Hat to, to come over here and check it out. Plaid Hat, I give you guys a thumbs up on this game. I absolutely love it. Isaac Vega. Uh, I've, I'm sitting in my library. You guys can't see it because the backlight's not on. I forgot to turn it on. But it is an amazing game. My review, I now I want that character sheet because it's got a macaw outline on it as a... The debater pirate. I could say a joke, but I won't. All right, guys. So that's the end of the video. That's all the time that I have because we filmed this five times and I just kept raining, rambling on about whatever. But make sure that you subscribe and you hit the alert bell so you're notified when we upload a new video. Also, if you guys want to watch us play pirate-themed video games, right now we're doing Far Cry, but I want to come back to Sea of Thieves. Check us out on twitch.tv forward slash ssdirewolfenl. And that is down in the description below. You guys can click that. And I'll send you straight to my Twitch channel. We are live Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays scheduled at 8 a.m. I almost said p.m. 8 a.m. Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays. And then at random, sometimes we live stream. But I also saw what this name of this ship is and we're just going to click away from that if you guys want to see you have to rewind the video all right guys i'm off here everyone have a great day be safe i'll see you guys later Deuces.